Hi, I'm Scott Dietrich, Offensive Coordinator at Parkview Baptist High School in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And I'm here today to uh, share with you the fifth in a series of videos on our combination triple option offense. In this last and final video, we'll take an in-depth look at our uh, sprint out passing game and two complementary plays that have tied in very well with our sprint out passing game. Um, you know, in an option offense, uh, teams want to run the football. But I think over the last nine years of running this offense, our sprint out passing game has really found a good place and it really has complemented our offense well. One thing I think you really have to decide as a, as a sprint out passing package, if you choose to do that, is to decide if you want to be a rollout pull-up team or a full sprint team. We are a full sprint team. I, I see a lot of film over the course of the year, and I see a lot of teams whose quarterback is coming out with the mindset of full sprint, but their protection is such that it's not allowing him to sprint out, and he's being pulled up and asked to make throws at uh, awkward angles and then from various positions. We're going to set up our whole protection based on full sprint out. We get into trips many times to sprint out, but you'll rarely see us release all three receivers. We're going to keep that inside slot on protection. Uh, in, 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 uh, excuse me, in high school federation rules, we cannot chop block on the edge with the fullback. And so to ask a tackle to try to reach a tough defensive end or a fullback to try to stay up on a tough defensive end, we would never break contain. So we're going to keep that slot in and get our fullback outside uh, for second contain. So we're going to set up our whole sprint out passing game with the mindset of one thing, is to get our quarterback in a run pass position as an extra threat on our sprint out passing game. A couple of reasons we like sprint out. Number one is to, is to get away from some inside pressure. Uh, option game out of every formation, we're going to run the option at your midline and triple option, and we just feel like it's, uh, it's a key breaker. It's a way to get outside the box quick and take away our inside pressure that people are doing to you and counteract that. The next thing we like is a, is a short momentum throw. Uh, we're, we're sprinting down here. We're trying to get our shoulder square. A lot of times our option quarterbacks may not have the strongest arm in the world, so by getting them on the perimeter, getting them downhill, they have some momentum making their throw, and it's a very, very short throw. Uh, and, and most running quarterbacks like we have, it, it tends to be a natural movement for them to throw on the run. And the last thing is it has a good complementary game. There's two plays off our sprint out passing game, a draw and a little shovel reverse trap that we've run that have been excellent plays that fit into sprint out. And if, if it wasn't enough reason to run sprint out because of the passing game, the complimentary plays themselves have been very beneficiary. So hopefully you'll get something from our, our sprint out passing package. Okay, uh, let's take an in-depth look at our, our sprint out passing game. Uh, first of all, we, we're going to try to get in some type of trips alignment in order to, uh, to run most of our passing game, whether we least release three receivers or just two. It could be trips with a split end backside or trips with a tight end backside. As we said earlier, everything in the passing game starts with protection. The protection scheme that we run and sprint out is our turn back protection. That means all of our linemen, and let me back up and say this, in order to effectively pass protect, a lineman must understand where the launch point is. Our quarterback is going to always sprint out at a 45 for width and depth, about six to seven yards, and try to get in this position. That's where we want our quarterback on the perimeter. So when those linemen are turned back protected, they have that image in mind of where we're trying to get that quarterback. All of our linemen, whether it be five linemen and tight end backside or just five linemen, should all look very similar on the snap of the ball. They're going to turn to the backside gap at a 45 degree angle.